Hey everybody, um, congratulations on your Lincoln Marathon or Half Marathon finish. We were so excited for all of those of you, those of you that stopped by our booth to participate in my hotspot. Our intention of having you guys participate in my hotspot was to help you that you put in a lot of effort into your training and to be able to go out and perform on race day. Our intention is for you guys to be able to run for life, to be able to run pain free to be able to perform your best. So our intention in this series is, is to try to help you to explain the biomechanics around your body that has to occur with running. And it's not normal to hurt when you run. Overall and generalized soreness of feeling your quads get sore or your glutes get sore or your hamstrings get sore is good. But having hot spots of I hurt right here or I hurt right here, or I hurt right here, or I hurt on the outside of my foot, it's kind of like your body giving you warning signs that your car's out of alignment. Well, all of us, whether we are left or right-handed, will tend to favor the right side of our body. It is a normal, natural human asymmetry that exists in all of us. And so when we go to run and we put in an effort, sometimes our body or our brain will drive us more to be on our right leg and to reach more with our right arm, where our left side is not doing its fair share to help us out. So I kind of want to explain to you some of the foundation around this before we go into the top five hot spots, which will be in other videos, for you guys to kind of understand and normal biomechanics that exist in all of us to help you understand all the different hot spots. When we go to run, your pelvis should be able to go forward and back. This is being on your right leg with your left leg swinging through the air, and this is with your right leg swinging through the air and weight on your left leg. You want your pelvis to be able to swing back and forth. Well, if you have a hot spot, in our humble opinion here, your pelvis is probably getting stuck in a position. There's objective tests that we do at our clinic for us as physical therapists to be able to identify what position that you're stuck in. The most common pattern that we see in our clinic are people that are stuck with the left side of this pelvis coming forward and the right side coming back. So what will happen is, is when you run, you'll go right, middle, right, middle. You'll never, your body, it doesn't have the capability of going right, middle, left, middle. So you can use your left and your right leg equally. So when you're getting your different hot spots, we don't feel that your pelvis is in the right position. If your pelvis is in the right position, your thigh bones are not in the right position, Neither is your shin bone and neither is your foot. If you go up your body, your spine won't be in the right position, which affects your rib movement and can also affect your head and neck. So when it can affect you above or below, this is like the foundation that we need to have strong and have the capability of going reciprocal and alternating back and forth when you go to run or walk. So how does this asymmetry occur if it's normal? Well, all of us, whether we're left or right-handed, tend to favor our right leg. We have a liver on the right side of our body in the average human that weighs three or four pounds. On the opposite side of this liver, you have a spleen. And your spleen on the average human only weighs 14 ounces. So whether we're left or right-handed, gravity is pulling us more over to our right leg with this more heavy liver on our right side. In your upper body, you have three lobes to your right lung. You only have two lobes to your left lung. And you have a heart over here that we don't have on the right side. So this heart over here causes our trunk to rotate more to the left, which is reaching more with your right arm. So whether we're left or right-handed, and I'm left-handed, and I like my right leg, and I like to reach with my right arm. This is half of running or walking. This is my right leg on the ground, my left leg powering through, um, swinging, through the, um, swinging through the air. So what happens over time, if our body stays stuck here, if your bones are not lined up correctly, muscles are not lined up correctly to work for you. And that can create a hot spot 
decreasing your performance and decreasing your ability to go through and run. So I hope that that gives you a little bit of a foundation with what's going on internally with your body with normal asymmetry. But let's step outside of our body and think about our world. A lot of our tracks, baseball, diamonds, um, in our world, grocery stores, if you go to Walmart or Target, are set up for you and I to walk around those, those stores counterclockwise. And counterclockwise movement is going to, again, reinforce the right leg and reaching more with our right arm, which already favors this normal human pattern. Most computers have mouses on the right side. Car ignitions are to the right. Rear view mirrors are to the right. We read left to right which gets our brain to really get over to the right side of our body. And there's nothing wrong with this, except for over time, our body kind of forgets that we have a left leg and has a left arm. We're not reaching with things with our left arm and we're not getting on our left leg. So over time, our body kind of positions itself with the car or your pelvis being out of alignment and veering to the right side. It doesn't know how to veer over to the left. And again, if bones aren't lined up correctly, muscles are not lined up correctly to help you to be more efficient and powerful with your running technique. I hope this gives you a little bit of a foundation of some of our philosophy. You can read more on our website at uh, www.horescaclinic.com to read a little bit more about it. And please look for our next blog talking about hot spot number one, which is the right piriformis.